To begin, isolate the water pressure from the on-off valve by dumping the pressure or closing the manual isolation valve. With the actuator pressurized with air, unthread the adapter from the bottom of the valve body. Then remove the seat from the top of the adapter. Turn the air to the actuator off and remove the air line from the top of the actuator. Then unthread the valve body from the bottom of the actuator. Remove the seal, needle guide, and needle by pushing the wooden dowel rod up through the bottom of the valve body. It is very important to thoroughly wash out the interior of the valve body before inserting new components. It is also very important to perform the following steps in a clean work environment. Begin by inserting the needle through the needle guide and seal as shown here. Make sure the small diameter of the needle guide faces towards the actuator and the red o-ring of the valve seal faces downward towards the valve body. Insert the assembly into the top of the valve body until the needle guide is flush with the top of the bore. Thread the actuator onto the top of the valve body. Reattach air to the actuator and turn the air pressure on to pull the needle valve up. Then using a set of wrenches, tighten the actuator to the valve body. Apply blue goop to the top of the output adapter. Insert the seat and apply blue goop to the seat and to the threads of the adapter. Thread the adapter into the bottom of the valve body and secure the assembly by tightening with a wrench. You can now turn off the air pressure to the actuator and reinstall the assembly to your machine. Apply water pressure to the valve assembly to verify there are no leaks. Before installing the cutting head, quickly cycle the valve on and off a few times to purge all contaminants. 